Hi. A short video about a significant update in my opinion. Finally we have a new control net for SDXL and not only that it works well. This is one model that knows how to work with almost all the controllers we know. Which saves a lot of headache and storage volume. But beyond the technical matter, from the short tests I did, it also works really well, unlike other control nets adapted to SDXL. For me, this is not a small line, because until now there were quite a few workflows that, due to the need to control the creation process, and the accuracy of the result, I had to build them adapted to SD 1.5 models. And this workflow is an example of that. And now we'll see how simple it is to adapt it to SDXL. For those who don't know, the role of this workflow, which already has several designers and architects working with it, is to take an existing architectural plan and create different design options from it, different combinations of textures, colors, and different materials. So in order to adapt the workflow to SDXL, as a start you of course need to download this SafeTensors file. I will of course put a link to this page in the description of the video. And this file should be put in the folder in this path backslash comfy UI backslash models backslash control net backslash SDXL. And that's all, now we will return to comfy and upgrade it to SDXL. One of the convenient things with this control net, it is enough to load it once and you can use it with several different maps. So we will leave one control net loader and select the model we downloaded. And we will connect it to all the existing control nets. Everything else remains the same. I use an AIO node that contains the entire preprocessor. And this model knows how to work with any map it receives. Now all that remains is to change the checkpoint to SDXL. Of course we will also arrange the VAE and everything that is needed. And if we are already updating the workflow, then we will also update the IP adapter. And just check that everything works. And remember to connect everything. As you can see everything works smoothly. And of course you can find the updated workflow in the description of the video. So I hope you learned and we will meet in the next lessons. You are of course welcome to subscribe to the channel, ask questions, and like if you liked it. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.